So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to install Kodi 20.3. You've been all over the YouTube channels looking to see how to go ahead and install it. You found other people's channels. They tell you to go to their website. Then you got to go through a whole bunch of ads and then try to figure out which download button to click on. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way. So stay tuned. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. And I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and install the Kodi the easy way. Just remember Kodi is a media player. What you do after that is all up to you. I cannot show you anything else because it's against YouTube guidelines. So on your home screen, let's go over to the left where the magnifying glass is. Go down to search, click on search. Go over to the letter D. I'm sure everybody heard about this program. Everybody pretty much has it on their Fire Stick. Downloader, go ahead and click on it. Underneath Apps and Games is Downloader. Go ahead and click on that. Give it a few seconds. Go switch over and say Download to Own It. Go ahead and click on that Enter button on your remote. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and click on that Like and Subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you know when I put up some more videos. Give it a few seconds and then let's go ahead now and open it up. Once we open it up, go click Allow and click OK. Now underneath where it says enter URL and the search term, go ahead and click on it. Now you just want to type in Cody. A-O-D-I dot T-V. Now you want to go and click on the word go. Give it a few seconds to come up to the Cody website. This is your easiest way to go ahead and download Kodi without having to try to figure out what to do. Go over to the right where the three line button is, click on it, go back over to the left, and let's go down to where it says downloads. Go ahead and click on download. Now you want to go down to where the Android guy is. Click on Android. Now scroll down and go to ARM7A 32 bit. Go ahead, give that a click. Now it's going to go ahead and start installing. Give it a few seconds and it will install. After it installs, go ahead. Now it downloaded, we just downloaded it. So now we have to give it some permissions. Go ahead and click on settings. Install for unknown apps. Let's scroll down, find downloader, click on it, turn it on, say okay. Go ahead and click the back button, click the back button again, and let's open it up. We may have to go ahead like I have to do now and just retype in Kodi. K-O-D-I dot T-V and press on go again. Give it a few seconds, comes up real fast. Same thing, go over to the three lines then back over to the left and click on download. Once the download page comes up, go ahead and scroll down. You're looking for the Android guy. Go ahead and give him a click. Scroll down some more. And you want ARM 7A 32 bit. Give that a click. Give it a few seconds to go ahead and connect, and it will start downloading. If you like, go ahead. You also can visit the Time for Streaming webpage. I have a couple of different apps on there that you can install onto your Fire Stick. Nice and easy. Just find the name under the words downloads. Click on the name of the app that you want and it automatically connects. No ads, no nothing. Very easy to install. Right now, here he is. Says install. Let's go ahead and install Kodi. Give that a few seconds. We're just waiting for it to come up and say when it's done. We don't want to open it. Go ahead and click on done. Now click on delete and delete again, but just deleting the files from the downloader app. That way it doesn't take up too much room on your Fire Stick. Now go ahead, click on that home button on your remote. Let's go over to the right. Let's go to where the three squares and the plus sign is. Click that enter button on your remote. Anytime a new app is installed, it's always gonna be down at the bottom. Wait for it to open up, go down, Let's highlight Cody. On your remote, it's a three-line button. Go ahead and click on it. Click on Move to Front. 
Now click the home button. Let's go back over to Cody, open it up. Just to show you that it has been installed. Go ahead and click OK. While using the app is fine and allow. So here it is, Cody 20.3 onto your Fire Stick. And remember, it's just a media player. What you do with it is all up to you. So that's it. That's how you have it. Go ahead, click that home button on your remote. Cody 20.3 media player onto your Fire Stick. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you use Cody or if you use another device. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming. <laughs>